Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to how to use the sawmill and the carpentry production facilities on Farming Simulator 22. So we're going to go through it step by step. Um, there is a lot to cover here, but I think we should be able to get it done in a pretty uh, quick amount of time here and have everything that you need to know as far as how to run these guys. So first things first, how do we get a hold of these production buildings? Well, the sawmill itself, the only way to purchase a sawmill is to walk up to this icon here and then hit R to purchase it. I've already purchased it, so I don't need to do that. I already own it, but it's just like purchasing any other uh, production facility on the map. So if we go down here to where the, actually the carpentry plant is down here, which we're gonna use one that we placed, but if we hop down here to where the carpentry is at, this guy right here, I can walk over here, if I can find the uh, icon here. Here we are, I can walk up to this wrench, hit R, and then I can purchase it, which I will do. Now I can also sell this if I go into, the, um, into this menu here and I click on it, I can sell it just like that. Now, just be aware if you sell one that's built into the map, it will be gone forever. You can no longer place one here, at least um, with how things sit now. So um, there you go, that is gone forever. Um, now the other option, if I hop over here, I placed one here, this is one of the carpentry buildings. So if I go back into this menu, I can go into the productions menu, I can place one just like this. So I could do this um, out here if I wanted, and then I could also demolish it if I wanted to do that, so I could sell it. Now there's another carpentry plant in here, so they both do the same thing, but those are out there. Sawmill wise, there's no sawmills in here, so you have to use the one built in the map if you're gonna use it. Now the good news is you don't need a sawmill to use the carpentry facility. They can operate independently of each other. You can use just the sawmill or you can use just the carpentry facility. Now you can also use them both in conjunction with each other, but that's kind of totally up to you. So uh, we'll talk about all that in a second. Let's hop back up over here to where we're at, the sawmill, which is up here on Elm Creek. So we'll hop in this guy here. So essentially, just the way production facilities work, in general, you're going to input one material and you're gonna output another material or multiple materials. So you're gonna input materials to get something out. So as far as a sawmill is concerned here, you're going to input logs or wood and you're gonna get an output of planks. That's how these work here. Now, if we go up to either this wrench here and hit R, which, oh, and one more thing I should have mentioned under here, um, you can rename stuff. I don't know if you can rename ones that are built into the map. I believe you can still demolish them. Yeah, you can demolish them if you want to, but if I have one place, I can click on it, um, which actually, let's just go ahead and do that real quick just to demonstrate um, real quick. If I was here, I can click on this one and I can rename it to Carpentry 1 if I wanted to or however I wanted to do it. Um, and that way it shows up that way in the menu. Now, if we hop back up over to here, if I wanted to use this, we're gonna go ahead and access the Productions menu so I can come up to this and hit R and it'll jump me in my Production Chains menu right to the correct facility, or I can just hit Escape and then I can scroll down to it here. Uh, but here we are, Sawmill. So Sawmill, this is the Production menu here. So let's go through the Sawmill here. So first off down here, I can activate deactivate um, so this will show you the status it's inactive right now if I activate it it'll show as running until it realizes well it doesn't have any materials and then it'll say materials needed up here in a second so just like that materials missing we'll deactivate it for now cycles per month this is how many times in a month so um, for example if you have a one day month it'll do this 2400 times a day if you have a two day month it'll do this 2400 times in two days and then here is the cost per month to run the facility down here here is the recipe it's going to take three liters of wood and make four liters of planks and 0.15 liters of wood chips. Now, if we go over here, so it's going to do that 2,400 times in a month, basically is what it's saying here. Go over here. Here's how much how many how much wood we have in liters in storage. Then we have how many planks and wood chips we have um, in the facility in storage as well. Now, there's a couple of different output modes. So there's uh, storing mode, which is what we're in now. So if I have this in storing mode, it's going to start spawning. Um, pallets of wood planks, which I believe should be right here, because this is the wood cell point. Uh, wood planks out here, it's gonna start spawning pallets of wood planks. Now, if I go back into here and I have this to selling, it's gonna go into the menu here, it's gonna locate, well, it's gonna locate wood planks, if we can find it in here, and it's gonna find whoever's buying it, and it's going to sell it to them for 60% uh, of the price. So it's gonna take a 40% delivery fee if you're on normal economy. It's more higher of a delivery fee on, on harder economy and it's less on um, our easy economy there. So um, it'll do that. Now, if we go back into the productions menu, change that to distributing, it's gonna move this along the chain for us. So that would mean it's gonna move us to our carpentry facility, which it takes in uh, planks. So it would move it there for us. So. If we go down here, that's what would end up happening with that. It's, it's just gonna move it along to there. Um, so we're gonna leave it on storing for now and we're gonna leave this on storing as well. Um, and we're gonna go about it that way. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and add some wood into this here. So again, it intakes wood. Um, now you can ignore it, it's a little glitched out right now. The trees still do some of this weird glitchy stuff sometimes and I use super strength to load it. So you can ignore that as well. But we're just gonna drive right onto this area right here and it should load this into the sawmill for us.
go over here. There we go. Now, if we go into our sawmill, it's in taking the wood right there. You can see it has wood. Um, we're going to go ahead and activate it, and we're leaving on storing again. So now if we actually back this guy up, because he might be a little bit in the way, we're just going to fast forward a little bit of time. We will fast forward into just tomorrow so we can see what we got going on. All right, so now if we look here, we have, I can only lift them because I have super strength on, but we have some planks created. So these are what the pallets of planks look like. Now, essentially, that is everything about the sawmill. That's how the sawmill functions. That's how it works. Now, if I wanted to, I can change this to, uh, change it to distributing. And if I fast forward just a little bit more time here, it's moved all those away from there. So if I lower this back down, if we go over here to our furniture planks, or furniture production, or carpentry building, excuse me, it's gonna have planks in there right now. Now, none of these are active right now. So um, that's how the sawmill works. That's everything you need to know about that. Now, what we're gonna do now is transition over to the carpentry facility and take a look at that. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, so here we are at the carpentry facility. So again, we've already kind of gone through the production spending, but we'll go through it again for the carpentry facility now. Again, you can activate, deactivate down here. We know the status here. We know how many cycles per month for each of these. So 216 for furniture wood and 240 for furniture planks. Then we know that that's the cost of production per month. And this is the recipe it's gonna go. So four liters of wood to five liters of furniture and 0.15 liters of sawdust or well, wood chips. I wanna say sawdust because that's essentially what they're trying to uh, uh, insinuate there. Uh, this one is gonna have five liters of planks to so seven liters of furniture and 0.1 liters of uh, wood chips. Now you can see that planks, especially with, uh, we're getting more planks out of them here and we're getting you know a higher rate of furniture compared to four to five there. We're getting five to seven here. So planks are probably a more efficient way to make furniture if you wanted to go about it. But you see here, we don't need the sawmill. If we didn't have the sawmill, couldn't make planks, we can still make furniture by putting wood into this facility here. So it works just fine. Now. We know we have planks because we had them distributed over here. Now, how do we get wood into this facility? And again, also over here, storing, selling, and distributing work the same exact way. So except for distributing, I should say, since they're not gonna have anywhere to go, it will hold on to them in here and it won't spawn any pallets out. But if it did have a space or it did have pallets in there and it was in storing mode and it wanted to spawn them out, it would spawn them out right over here, which we'll take a look at what a furniture or a uh, pallet of furniture looks like here in a second. But I have a log here. This is the input area. So I would just be able to move pallets of wood planks if I wanted to move them over here individually and it would go into the facility here or I could put logs on it and they can be on a trailer as well walk up to this and that will insert it by hitting R, it'll insert it into the factory. Now we see we have wood. So we're gonna go ahead and actually activate uh, both of these guys here. And then we're just gonna fast forward some time. We'll start seeing since they're in storing mode, oh, this one's in distributing, we'll change that to, actually no, we'll leave that on uh, distributing just to show you what it's gonna do there. Um, well, yeah, we'll leave it on storing because they're both going into that same output there. So we'll go ahead and fast forward some time here until we get a pallet of furniture. be any second now we'll fast forward into the morning there we go we got a pallet over there all right so here is what a pallet of furniture looks like very anticlimactic nothing exciting you're not seeing chairs wrapped up on there or anything like that i can only lift it because i have super strength on right now but um there you go now what do you do with furniture well it's very simple with planks or furniture if you wanted to stop at planks you could sell the planks if you wanted to stop at furniture, you can sell furniture. Well, you can't go any further than furniture, but those are what you do with them. It's just, just a way to make a little bit more money uh, from your forestry without having to just sell your logs. So very cool. But that is everything as far as the production facilities for carpentry and for the sawmill go for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.